Hey everyone, Jim with Evolution Power Sports. Uh, today I want to talk about Kawasaki H2 uh, stuff. We're making great progress on tuning. Uh, we'll talk about that more a little bit later. But what I did want to talk about is clutching today. So we have this beautiful uh, tap clutch that's made specifically for the Kawasaki H2. Uh, we put, we'll be putting this on the car a little bit later on today to develop you know, a good calibration for a stock car. Um, as I said in some of the previous, previous videos, really clutching along with tuning is gonna be key to making power on this car um, or on, the, on this side-by-side. -side. Some people object to me calling it a car, so I'll say side-by-side. -side. Um, the reason is that, you know, to make more boost, we gotta make more RPM, right? And, um, and so that's really the only way. And, you know, allowing the engine to rev uh, higher, you know, especially when it's, you know, hot or you're going to high elevation, will make up for some of that lost uh, efficiency of the supercharger. So the tap clutch is amazing when it comes to adjustability, okay? The tap clutch is so easy that you can adjust your, your clickers. So, so these are the clickers here for those of you that aren't familiar with the tap clutch, but basically, this allows you to change your operating RPM. There's basically six positions that you can go to. Starting with one would be the lowest RPM and up to six would be the highest RPM. And you can generally get about 500, you know, roughly a 500 RPM span between one and six. Okay, so if you're, you know, one day, you know, it's nice and cool, and you need the, the RPMs to be a little bit lower, you just put the, you just set the clickers down. Uh, let's say you go riding at higher elevation, set them on six, now you've got all your power back or most of your power back, okay? This clutch can be adjusted, you know, once the cover's off of the, um, uh, the, the clutch cover's off, the whole clutch can be adjusted uh, with those clickers in less than one, one minute. So very, very easy. Only clutch on the market that you can do that with. Every other clutch is going to require some tools and and uh, you know a bunch of uh, jicky jacking around in order to uh, get the RPMs right. So, best clutch on best aftermarket clutch on the market, in my opinion. All right. So now that we've covered tap, uh, not everybody's going to want to buy a billet clutch for the H2. I get that. Um, so we've done uh, quite a bit of clutch work on our own. We actually have three different sets of weights that we prototyped. Uh, the, the set that we actually uh, found to be the best are in the car, but we, we changed a number of things. So we, we changed you know, ramp angles, um, you know, basically the heel height um, and, and the mass, the overall mass of the, of the, uh, of the ramp itself, okay? We do uh, have holes here for magnets, so you know, you, you know, you can pick your base weight and then adjust it upwards uh, with magnet, uh, little magnet weights. Each magnet weighs about one gram, so not quite as easy to adjust as the tap, but a great way to get the most performance out of your H2 and still be relatively easy to adjust. Okay, um, you can adjust these without tools. Uh, well, you, you do have to compress the clutch, so, so that would be one tool that you would need. Um, but the ramp angle that we um, uh, profiled and tested yesterday is 100% even better than stock. It, and we'll show uh, some more data later, but you can see how with the stock ramp in there, or stock ramps, you know, basically you get a little RPM spike on the beginning and then the RPMs pull down mid-range and then at the very top they uh, the rpms climb again okay typically with a cvt we want to see more of a flat um, rpm curve and with our profile that we've um, made you know the basically the there is no curve it's basically flat the whole way and we we're able to get the rpms up quite a bit which gave us you know 20 pounds of boost uh, now as opposed to you know 15 or 16. So there's great gains there with, with just raising the RPM with the clutching. Uh, our weights will come in basically three different base weights. So we'll have like a sea level type calibration. We'll have a high elevation calibration or not calibration, but actual ramps. The base weight will vary. Um, 
and then we'll have a C level, uh, you know, that will handle, you know, the, you know, the upgrades that are coming for a lot more power. Okay, so those are all um, uh, in the works. Um, we're done prototyping, so they're in production. Uh, and then we got a cool little 3D printed uh, billet cover. This is also in production now. Uh, you know, the cat, you know, we found, we haven't had any problems yet with, with the cast cover on the clutch, but you know, what we've seen with a lot of other applications is that, um, you know, this cast piece is not, you know, this basically holds the towers together, you know, keeps them from spreading under the, the load, um, that the clutch experiences, you know, you know, pulling that belt. And so with a billet cover, we can handle a lot more power than you normally could with uh, with just a you know the stock cast cover. So where we're going, you're going to need that. So, um, but we're going to do more on tuning uh, either later today or or later this week because uh, we got some great updates on that. So stay tuned. <laughs>